What's up guys, it's Drax here. Today I'm going to show you on how to do the car to service car merge glitch. So for this glitch, you will need a bunker and you do need an auto shop. But once you do have an auto shop, make sure you have the car with the mods you want to transfer over to the service vehicle inside your auto shop. So this is the vehicle I'm going to be using right here, which I already have inside my auto shop, which is what you need. Now, once you do have the car inside your auto shop and you also have a bunker, you're now going to just head over to your bunker. You can just fly there or you can teleport. If you don't want to spend hours grinding out these glitches, then be sure to check out GTAops.com. They offer a variety of modded accounts and boosted services ranging from $20 million to $1 billion. They are highly reliable with fast delivery. So if you are interested, the link of GTA Ops will be in the description and the pinned comments. So if you guys also want to use discount code STREX for checkout, you guys will be able to get 10% off. So I hope you guys enjoy and let's just get back into the video. Once you have made it to your bunker, you're just gonna go ahead and exit your bunker. After you've exited your bunker, you can then just head back to your auto shop. So you can either fly there or teleport there, just whatever you guys like, but I will get back to you when I do get back to my auto shop. When you guys make it back to your auto shop, now go to the vehicle with the mods you wanna transfer over to your service car. Like I said at the beginning of the video, this is the car I will be using. Once you are inside the car with the mods you wanna transfer over to your service vehicle, press right on the D-pad to modify your vehicle and then it's gonna bring you inside the auto shop. You don't need to change anything whenever you are in here, so then you can just go ahead and back out and exit the auto shop. As soon as you do exit the auto shop, it's going to put you back into the parking spot you were in before. You can then just hop out of the car and then you're going to go up the stairs over here and then you're going to go into the wardrobe room. When you have made it into your bedroom where the wardrobe is, you're then going to walk up to the changing clothes option right here. Now before you guys do go into the changing clothes option, make sure you register as a boss and then you're going to register as a CEO. After you have registered as a CEO, you can then just put away your interaction menu. You should see that you do have the press right on the D-pad option right here whenever you guys are facing the close, which is exactly what you want. So what you need to do now is pull up your phone, go to contacts. You're going to either call agent 14 or what I normally do, I go ahead and call Tony. So you can call one of those two, but once you do click on Tony or agent 14, it's going to tell you to request for something. So if you call agent 14, it's going to say request bunker research, I believe. And if you call Tony, it's going to tell you to request club management. Now you're going to go ahead and click on request whatever it says. And as soon as you guys do click on it, you're going to press right on the D pad and then it's going to bring you inside of the clothing option right here. Whenever you're inside the clothing option, you're going to count maybe five to 10 seconds and then it should bring up the timer. So since me right here, it brought up the 20 minutes, which is exactly what you want. Sometimes it will, sometimes it won't. And if it doesn't, then that's whenever you're going to count to 10 seconds. Now, once it brings up the timer, you can then just back out. But if it doesn't bring up the timer, count up to 10 seconds and then you can back out of the clothing option, go back downstairs and then go up to the service vehicle. You want to transfer the mods over over to either on the left lift over here or you can go over here to where I'm at right here on this lift and you're just going to go up to the vehicle and press right on the d-pad and just like that you can see the mods transfer over to the vehicle now you just need to wait for the 20 minutes to go out and once the 20 minutes is up if you don't have a timer on the map you're just going to put a timer on your phone just wait for the 20 minutes and you guys will know when the timer is up and yeah so I will get back to you when the timer has hit zero. And just like that, you can see the timer's about to be up in two, one, and you guys get about $5,000. So if you guys do not have a timer, that's how you know it's ended is whenever you get $5,000, you can then just put away the phone call. Now you can go up to the vehicle now and just, if you're on Xbox, press X to purchase the vehicle, or if you're on PlayStation, press square to purchase the vehicle. It's gonna say, are you sure you wanna purchase this vehicle now for, ever, for however how much it says? For me, it says 885,000. I'm just gonna go ahead and hit yes. Now I'm gonna select the garage to wherever I want the vehicle. And yeah, just like that, after you've purchased the vehicle, now you're just gonna wait for it to spawn inside of your garage. And here you guys go, the vehicle spawned in after a minute and it looks exactly the same as my original car that I wanted to transfer over to the service vehicle and now it's inside your garage. So it's that simple on how to do the glitch. I hope you guys did enjoy this car to service car merge glitch. Please like and subscribe. Thank you guys for watching. Peace.